This is Marche pre perm. Um, I wasn't allowed to get a perm until I was eight. I begged and begged my mom, and she was adamant no perms until you turn eight. This was my first perm. I was pressed, school pictures, edges were laid, and I basically got a perm from this age clean through high school. This was high school. That was my hair. I'm still getting perms. I can't even remember how long you go in between perms, but yes, that was my real hair, and I was still getting perms. And then the damage started. That is my hair, the same freaking high school experience, and the perm started pulling my hair out. This is when I went to a hairdresser to get a to get a trim, and she cut off all my hair hair i look happy but just know i was not happy two weeks later i went and got a weave here it is don't mind this super embarrassing photo but i basically wore this bob weave and went to the girl every so often to get it washed and conditioned and stuff i basically wore this look for a while occasionally wearing my real hair out straightening it this is my real hair as you can see it's grown out a lot it's looking healthy it's thick and by this point, I was done with perms, so this is strictly um, just pressing it out. Uh, this is the same haircut in a bob. Occasionally, I would just take the weave out just to get a break from it. And I would put it right back in. <laughs> there goes the weave. And basically, weave was life. I knew nothing else. I just thought I'm going to stop getting perms and I'm going to get weave. My hair should be healthy, right? No. Now, the weaves did help my hair grow and become thick. This was my real hair. However, I was still straightening my hair, and I started to notice that my hair was still thin because, again, if it wasn't in a weave, I was wearing it straight. It wasn't until the end of high school that I started trying natural styles. This was one of my attempts at a natural style. Again, didn't really know what I was doing. I'm still transitioning, so I had tons of textures going on. This was the only style I could really do that worked for me. It was this two flat twist look. It worked and it got me from day to day. So that's what I did to transition. But then I joined Ebony Fire at Hampton University and we performed every week. So back to the weave I went. But again, I was still straightening my leave out, still putting heat to it. And if you've ever had a weave, you know the hair that's braided up is growing, but that leave out is just still being damaged. And I didn't know anything about taking care of my own hair, honestly. I was straightening it all the time. Here's another weave um, with a leave out. <laughs> and I basically did that for a good chunk at Hampton. I gradually learned about heat protectants and trying to protect my hair while dancing and straightening it. But I would still just do natural styles or the best I could off season so summertime again i think around this point i'm pretty much natural but i'm still transitioning and suffering with heat damage here is me doing natural styles in the summer this is what i was working with as you can see my hair was very frizzy thin damaged i was doing i was working with what i had <laughs> this is when i started experimenting with more natural styles this was a twist and curl the last photo was a bantu knot I would do twist outs, braid outs with perm rods, of course. And that basically got me through the rest of my transitioning phase. Um, I didn't really have the courage to big chop, so I fully transitioned, even though transitioning is not easy, y'all. Here's another photo where you can really see how much heat damage and frizziness and just how unhealthy my hair really was, but it was still trying. It was still better than what it was when I was getting a perm. And around this time, my hair had grown out a while. I had been tr transitioning for some, for a qu quite a long time. And this is where I guess would be my big chop. Me and my mom just kind of went in the bathroom and I told her, cut off anything that doesn't curl. And this is what I was left with. I actually didn't even realize until making this slideshow that my hair was ever that short. Um, I actually wish I would have gone shorter, but... This is when my life changed. I got introduced to closures. Closures changed my life. I was like, I can braid up all my hair and finally get rid of the heat damage in the front. Yes, ma'am, sign me up. So from this point on, I basically did closures, wigs. I was venturing into a new world, experimenting, and I loved it, and it was fun, and it did wonders for my hair. It really did. However, when it wasn't in a weave and it wasn't in a wig, I was still putting heat to it. 
or doing natural style. So I was kind of dip jumping back and forth between that flat iron life, that heat life, and the natural life. And if you do that, you know that your natural styles don't turn out that good. It wasn't until around here where I started really taking care of my hair. I was deep conditioning weekly, no heat really, um, putting good products, making sure my hair was moisturized. And this is when I really started to see a change in my hair. It started to grow. It wasn't as dry. My natural style started coming out better and better. And I actually, I just got addicted to the lifestyle. I was experimenting with products, learning the routine, creating a routine, and I was in love with my hair at this point. And the next photo should be where I decided to blunt cut my hair. So yes, I went to the hairdresser and got my hair blunt cut. It was even all the way around. This was around August 2016. And that's straight. This is that same cut curly. Loved it. Wanted a fresh start. I wanted to try and shape my bush. And then two months later in October for my 23rd birthday, I colored it. Loved it. Thought it was something new. I was feeling myself. But if you're a natural wanting to color your hair, I would just say don't do it. And as you can see, I straightened it again. So this was, I did not go to a hairdresser this time. And that was probably my mistake. I got a little bit of heat damage. So I felt like I set myself back but this was that same cut and color curly and this is when I vowed to not do heat for a year so I currently haven't put heat to my hair since that last photo which was October my 23rd birthday and I didn't plan on straightening my hair until my 24th birthday but with that right around the corner I'm not feeling it um as you can see my natural styles just gradually gotten better this is basically today's Closer to today, my hair is finally, I feel like it's finally retaining length. Still dry, I'm still working on keeping moisture. But as you can see in this next photo, that there's no more straight pieces. My hair's looking full, it's looking healthy. It's finally having a shine to it. And if you're somebody who's trying to go natural or thinking about going natural and you don't know if you want a big chop or transition, do what you're comfortable with. There's no right or wrong way to be natural. Find what works for your hair i hope i didn't run through this video too fast and i hope you guys enjoy watching my hair journey my journey is far from over um i'm actually thinking about cutting my hair but thank you guys for subscribing like comment share thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below letting me know if you big chopped or transitioned i'm curious to know how your hair journey started and what you did or did not do bye love ya